how does it feel to be back in Australia? Yeah, no, it's absolutely unbelievable to be back in such a good, relaxed country, especially with the heat. I know I'm struggling with the heat at the moment, but I'll get used to it after a couple of weeks. Have you got a bit of a summer training? Yeah, um, it took me about two or three days, and then I actually caught it up twice, and I still managed to get really bad sunburns. So, um, yeah, just trying to get used to and get a couple of sunburns before I get used to it. How did the um, coming to the Crows, how did that come about for you? What was the first contact? Yeah, well, I would always uh, followed the footy last year. Um, then just keeping an eye, an eye on it, and yeah, I was chatting to Mary Clark back home. He was um, he used to play for Collingwood and would have been very close to him. And uh, I've done a few training sessions above in Dublin um, for the new guys, and then the spot opened up in Adelaide and kind of went from there and kind of opened it up and took with two hands. They came asking about you. You came asking about. Them. Uh, I had a had a chat with uh, Mary Clark and stuff like that, so he kind of uh, went asking and then. Yeah, they came back and they were pretty happy to go ahead with it. What was it that made you want to come back and play footy after you've been so comfortable going back home? Yeah, I suppose I went back home uh, during COVID and went back to get fa see family and stuff like that and found it very hard to come back out. And But to come back out was since the whole world's opened up and get my partner and my parents are able to come back out again and um, I'm that couple of years older again, so yeah. Hey, is this a club on the rise, do you think? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I'm even living with Tyler and Braden Cook is uh, two young guys and a lo lot of other younger guys that um, that have an emerging list coming through. Your, your body, how are you feeling, and, and what do you think you're capable of this year? Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm only here a week, so I've uh, they've eased me into it and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm a small bit sore this week, but it's the first week back into it, and yeah, they'll build me in through the next couple of weeks. Um, just in terms of an environment like Collingwood's. Um, so you get an understanding of the group and potentially what they're capable of. What would be the expectations for this year for you guys? Uh, I'm not too sure because I've only been here a week. Um, so I'm just trying to learn everything here, here at the club and see what way the players go about and stuff like that. So I'll get in, bigger engaged with that in the next few weeks. Uh, so so another one on, on your body, sorry. that You're playing, obviously, not at footy, but you're still playing sport over in, in Ireland. Have you come back in, in pretty good pretty good shape as if you had been doing most of the pre-season anyway? Uh, so I, I had just finished my season uh, about uh, eight or nine days before I came back here. So I was playing hurling and we managed to win the All-Ireland with my club, Belly Giblin. And then uh, eight or nine days later I was out over here playing footy. So I would had a pre-season under my belt, but um, so that's why they building me into it. But um, I was in season, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. Can you compare the the work you would do and the, and the game days of, of hurling to, to here, does it actually prepare you quite well? Are they similar in a way? Uh, it depends on if you're playing with your county or with your club. Um, if you're playing with your county, that's, um, that's kind of from December to August and then from August to December is with your club. So I would have played with Cork from December until August and then went from there you go play with your club then from August to um, just January there. So, um, in, in Intercounty with Cork would be pretty similar to Adelaide, but when, when it's with your club, it's kind of taking a step back, and and, and it's all amateur as well, so um, everyone has to work as well on top of training. Yeah, that's what the, the, the physical aspect of it. You're not training five days a week to, to go and. Um, with, with Intercounty, you, you nearly would. You'd be on the pitch nearly three times a week, and in gym nearly two days a week. Um, yeah, Intercounty is pretty much similar to um, professional, but it's just yeah, you don't get paid for it. <laughs> Who are you basing your, your game on? Who are you following at training or who are you sort of using as a bit of a guide? Yeah, there's a few. Um, I obviously um, like the way Tom Duda kind of sits back and takes in intercept marks as well, but then Nick Murray's physicality as well is um, something that, that stood out to me as well. So I'm just trying to gauge the two of them and try to mend my game into the two theirs. So does that mean you can play on a like a position? Yeah, uh, when I was at Collingwood, that's where I was playing in the at the point. It was a key, to, uh, key position. Uh, position. Good spoil on Fogs at fullback, and then you kind of moved on to Himmelberg and took a really clean intercept mark. Do you feel like you're already matching up quite well with those guys, just being here for the one week? Yeah, that's what I would have proud myself on when I was at the Pies, was uh, sitting back and taking intercept marks and um, using that spoil as well to get it out of the danger zone. But um, yeah, it's been a week, but yeah, hopefully I can build on that and keep going from there and take more marks. What do you think? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just playing the five games at Collingwood, how long would you see your career here at the Crows and what are you kind of hoping to achieve? How many games are you hoping to play? Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, just see how how this season goes first. Obviously, I've missed the, the most of the preseason here, so 
hopefully have a good good uh, season this year and hopefully see where it goes and hopefully get another contract next year. Impossible to predict home sickness, of course, Mark, but, but now that the borders are open, can you see yourself, if all, all things going well, living here, staying here for, for a while, for years to come? Yeah, no, definitely as well, with, uh, with my partner coming over as well. Um, she absolutely loves Australia as well, so... Um, yeah, no, I can see myself here for a good while. Is there any differences that you notice between Melbourne, living in Melbourne, living here? Uh, definitely a lot quieter here, yeah. Um, no traffic as well, but um, yeah, definitely a lot quieter. That's kind of, oh, yeah, that's kind of it. What's been your first impressions of working with Matthew Nix? Yeah, he's really good. Um, really, because I had a few Zoom calls with him before I came over, so um, he was really invested in really good people's person, so yeah. And for you, when you mentioned all those blokes that you looked up to before in the team, but how far away do you think you could... Like, could you realistically play a lot of footy this year, do you think? Is that, is that your goal? Um, oh, it's be, it would be everyone's goal to play a lot of footy this year, but um, I was, as I said, missed a lot of pre-season, so I was just trying to build my way back up to where I was at Collingwood and get back to where I was. That's only a weekend, but confidence is key. Can you see yourself playing real well? Um, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I was... I, as I said a while ago, it's, uh, it's about 37 days to round one, so I have a bit of catching up to do, but um, yeah. I don't know if you've got a chance to know all the guys yet, but Josh Rochelle was flying on the track today. Did you get a chance to see any of that action? Yeah, I did, yeah. He's um, himself and Jake's legal. Um, yeah, they're going really well in the track and uh, not what rippers. Have you been able to understand the Aussie accent all right? Yeah, I've definitely been able to understand it, but I think a few lads aren't able to understand me, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>